Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good December, which feels really funny to say because I am filming in October and this is my first update for my 12 Pans of Christmas project pan for 2022. If you missed the intro, I will link it up in the eye. You can click that, go back and catch up with that. But otherwise, let's jump right into the update. I will start off with my hand cream. When I entered this, it was 75 grams. It's now down to 66 grams. So I did say I didn't think I would make that much progress with this in the first update because my 13 by Halloween is still currently going. I will link the playlist for that project pan up in the eye if you want to go see that. That'll be up in full if you like project pan content. It's there for you. Um, and I had a hand cream in that. So I actually am just like, glad that I made any progress on this and I am excited to get stuck into really trying to make progress on this between now and Christmas. I do have rather an exciting update for being the first update and that is regarding my Orbe Feather Balm Weightless Styler. So I have two of these. This is the unstickered one. So this started at 19 grams and this particular one is still 19 grams. But the other one, and the two of these together count as one item because they are two minis. This one started at 10 grams, but ta-da, this one has been finished. It is completely empty. So I've actually got an empty for my first update, which is very exciting. And this one was 10 grams and I finished it in a month. And this one has 19 grams in it and I've got two months left. So that would indicate if it's 10 grams is doable in one month that I can finish this within the project. So really, really pleased with that. Another hair product that I've got in this project is my Grow Gorgeous Back Into The Roots hair mask. So this is where we started. This is where we are at update number one. I actually only used this twice, but I got quite a good reduction. Um, it's quite a sort of watery formula, so I feel like it spreads quite easily or quite a reasonable amount comes out. I'm, I'm not worried. I think I'll definitely get to finish this within the project. I'm really glad that I put this in and that I'm going to be able to work through this project and use it up. Obviously, after having used it twice, um, I can't really comment on hair growth. Also, I got my hair cut between the intro and this one. This is actually the first video that I have filmed, like, not a vlog, like just chatting to the camera with this hair. So if I kind of keep looking up there, that's why, even though like you guys, this will not be news at this point, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still adjusting to what I actually look like every time I catch sight of myself. But yeah, so I can't really comment on the actual growth, but it feels nice and cooling and pleasant on the scalp. So it's fine, it's, it's nice to use. I don't imagine that much product being left is going to really do anything, but now that I've had all my kind of, my hair was desperately needing chop, that's why I had quite a dramatic chop. Um, but I am looking to start growing it again, essentially. Just wanted it to start growing again, but healthier. Um, so yeah, that, that using this kind of ties in with my overall agenda. So I'm really glad that I have put it into the project. Another product where I've got two products for the price of one as such is my Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask. This one, which has the sticker on it, started at 21 grams. This one is still 21 grams because I haven't really used this one. But the other one, this started at 20 grams and is currently 7 grams. I have actually cut this open. There's, def there's still product in it, so it's not finished. But obviously it's going to be finished by the next update. I have got a blush in this project. As you will know if you're watching my main project pan, in the intro for this project pan, I said I had the two going, so... I was a little bit nervous about it, but I actually just managed to finish the blush that's in my main project pan. So you'll see that in the, the update that I put up at the start of November for that project. So this will now be the main blush that I am concentrating on between now and the end of the year. So fingers crossed, I'd really like to actually completely finish it. Um, there's still quite a reasonable amount of product, so I don't know if that's doable or not, but we're going to give it our best shot.
Another makeup item that's going to look very different to the first time you saw it is my number seven eyeshadow. This had a pan in it and I was taking it to work and I was using it and it all shattered so I had to repress it. So I repressed it, then I've got a new pan in it but it's very, very flaky, it's very, very delicate. It's probably not a great shadow to be traveling with now so that's not so ideal. Quite an exciting one so you know the lush hottie bar this is what i have brought this down to so i'm kind of i'm wary of holding this just in case i start melting it as it is and um, so i've broken it i've got this little bit so that's what i'm going to concentrate on using up next and um, but yeah this definitely it's gone down more quickly than i thought it would not like worryingly so you know i, I think i'll probably still have some you know at the next update i would like to finish it by the finale we'll see where we go and um, but yeah, it's not that I feel like it's a bad value for money product, it's disappeared really quickly, but it's just gone much more quickly than I thought it would. It started at 58 grams and it's now 26 grams. That's uh, over half. I'm really, really pleased with that one. Very small movement on my Guerlain 1925 lipstick. I really like this and it's matte lipstick and you don't need a lot of it and once you put it on, it's on your mouth for like the whole day and you never need to top it up. So I did say putting it in, I didn't think there was going to be like exciting progress on this one, but I'm getting some use out of it by putting it in the project. I'm concentrating on it and that's what I wanted to do. So the marks for that are these ones here. So yeah, not a lot of movement whatsoever, but still more movement than there would have been had I not put it in this project. And as I said, you don't seem to need a lot of the, the lipstick, but I've made a little bit more movement with the lip liner that I've put in to go with it, which is MAC Red. I mean, it's still very much a full liner. It's not even looking like a short liner at the moment, but that is the marks for that there, starting point and now. So that definitely has come down more than the lipstick did. Nice and festive red. And I feel like as the project goes on and we get nearer and nearer Christmas, I'm just gonna get more and more use out of the lip combo. Something I got way more use out of than I thought was my Rain Face Mist. This is where we started and this is where we are. I think I might actually have this finished by update two given what's left. It's interesting though um, in terms of like just project panning and how useful it is. You know I said in the intro for this that once I knock this out, I'm only going to have one facial spray left and I'm really, really excited about that because I think that that's the way I want my collection to be moving, particularly with that category. And then I was looking at, there's a Tatcha Christmas set this year that's got the Dewy Skin Moisturiser, Dewy Skin Mist and Serum in it. And it's quite good for value for money as a lot of these sets are at this time of year. And I was kind of, I was quite close to asking for it for Christmas because I'm doing this project pan and I then was like marking this and updating it. It's just kind of refocused me on the fact that I'm like, I don't want to bring another mist in to my collection right now. I've got loads of moisturizers, so there's not really any point in me bringing the moisturizer in. And the serum I'm sure is lovely. I'm sure all the products are lovely, but I'm not gonna get round to any of them when I've got stuff sitting to use first. So yeah, like I'm still interested very much so in that Tatcha Dewy Skin line, but maybe it's something for next Christmas if I've worked through more stuff by then. Um, but yeah, like I was, I was definitely, like I was this close to putting it, say putting it on my Christmas list, like this close to sending my grandma link to it and saying, oh, I quite, this is what something I'd quite like for Christmas, which isn't me being cheeky. She asks me to tell her what I want. She'd rather buy me something that she knows that I want than pick the wrong thing, I suppose. So um, yeah, she does ask me to send her things that I would like and then she picks from what I send her what she's going to actually buy. It's not like a guaranteed thing or anything like that, just in case I come across really like entitled there. Um, but yeah, I was I was this close to sending her the link to it and saying I'd really like this and then I was doing the cutaway for this and it's just refocused me on the fact that I want to have one facial spray and I'm using this one up so that I can be in that position and what's the point in doing that if I within, like if I finish this by update two and then on Christmas day, which would be the finale, I'm opening a new facial spray and instantly putting myself into a scenario where I have two facial sprays again instead of one after I've worked 
to get to one. All of which is just to say like I definitely find doing the project pans like they definitely have an impact on the way that I consume and they just keep me focused and I'm just really really glad that I started project panning so yeah just if anyone wanted my thoughts on that matter it definitely helps you a use more stuff up than you'd use if you weren't project panning b really understand how long it takes to use a product up so that when you look at an eyeshadow palette or whatever like you know how long you're going to actually have that for before you empty it and see like just focus you on not bringing more in because you know how long it takes to use stuff up so yeah basically all good points especially I think just to remind ourselves of that in the run up to Christmas when it can be a bit like oh I'm just gonna ask for all this stuff that I really want and then it's like do you really want it or do you just like the packaging and the marketing and this time of year like encourages us to get swept up in that stuff so yeah just thought I would uh, put that out there Product number 11 is my Guerlain Primer Little Mini Size and I've actually managed to use about half of this so I'm really really pleased with that. I don't know if I'll finish it completely by update number 2 but I mean it'll definitely be finished within the project which is the main thing so really really pleased with that. That would have definitely kicked around for absolutely ages if I hadn't put it within this project. And the last product is my Charlotte Mensa Hair Oil. So this was brand new when we started, so it was right up here. And it has come down just a little bit. I don't quite know, looking at that, if it's going to be possible to finish this within the project, but I can definitely make a good start into it within the project and hopefully finish it early next year, if not within this project, as I've been hoping for. Um, but again, like the facial spray, if I bring this one down, I've, de I've got a couple of hair oils but it'll definitely leave me, I think it leaves me with two. Um, you know, it, it definitely, it, it gets me on that home stretch of getting down to one. So I'm really looking forward to having this knocked out. But I've actually really enjoyed using this. I really like the smell of this. It doesn't seem to weigh my hair down. I like it a lot. I definitely would potentially repurchase this one once I've used up all my other ones. And that is everything, that is all our 12 product. This is the box if you see in my, like usually it sits up there, that's my main project pan stuff in that blue one. So this sits up there next to that with my 12 pans of Christmas stuff. And it's actually uh, festively appropriate. It's from an Estee Lauder gift set a few years ago. So I just thought that was nice to share with you that I'm keeping it in an appropriately festive box. So that is everything for this update. Thank you so much for watching. If you like Project Pan content, please do hit the subscribe button. I've got my main 2022 Project Pan that I've been running all year, so I'll link that up on the end screen if you want to go and have a watch of that. And update number two of this project should be with you next Sunday. There should basically be a Project Pan update every Sunday in December until the finale on Christmas Day. Do stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!